Boxing gym owner and trainer Howard Grant was at last Saturday's fight between Jeanette Zacharias Zapata and Quebec boxer Marie-Pierre Houle. I, I was shaking up even Monday, Monday morning, because I was there and I saw this happen and unfold. It's hit, it's hit the boxing community pretty bad. That night, Zapata received several blows to the head. At one point, she fell unconscious and she then began to convulse. She was rushed to hospital. In May, Zapata suffered a knockout in a bout in Mexico, but she was cleared to fight in Montreal after undergoing neurological exams. The exact cause of Zapata's death has not been determined. Quebec's coroner's office will investigate, but the incident is already prompting calls for change. The nature of the sport is, is to, to hit someone and to knock them out. So uh, I would abolish the sport. This neuropsychologist acknowledges that, aside, that probably I won't think, happen, uh, but he says more in-depth tests are needed before boxers return to the ring after head injuries. We know now that even if the subjectively the, the, the person may be feeling great, um, if we do um, more, more uh, uh, precise testing like uh, functional neuroimaging, we see that there are areas in the brain that are not quite recovered and that look atypical. The sports critic for Quebec's opposition liberals is calling for a registry to keep track of concussions in the sport, for new criteria to match up boxers based on skill, and for an update to the rules for boxing event permits. In an average, about 13 uh, boxers lose their life uh, yearly around the world on a ring. So uh, this is something that we have to uh, we have to look into. Now it happened here on our soil in Quebec. Back at Grant's boxing gym, he says more stringent tests could help, but he says fighters know the potential risks. It's, it's, it's hard, it's a, it's a tough one, this one. It's very tough, she was so young, 18 years old, she's a kid, you know. Valeria Cory Minocchio, CBC News, Montreal.